Like the videos? Smash those like and subscribe buttons and enable the bell for up-to-date notifications. Hit join and consider becoming a zombie slayer today. Hey guys and welcome back to the that I Darkness Falls mod. So, last episode we did quite a few quests. Um, I debated whether I should come here or not uh, because I want to be here for the day 31 reset. Now, that's still 5 in-game hours away so I won't be able to make that. Basically what I want to do is I want to talk to the trader, see what he has and then day 31 comes and he has new loot. As easy as that. Now, I need to drop a few things over here that I'm going to keep. So let's just drop gun parts and this stuff. Uh, because I need to start selling. Guys, we are so encumbered at the moment, it's insane. And last episode, we finally got a lathe. So now that we have a lathe, we might be able to get some stuff done for once. Uh, I do need to make myself some coil rifles. I want to see if I can't perhaps start doing that this episode. Okay, we should probably first talk to the guard captain, because whatever he gives me... I might be able to sell to the trade over here. And then I need to take stuff off the bike that I want to sell because the bike is full of loot. It's weird how it works. In early game, this is so slow. The progression, everything is just super, super slow. And then now, man, there's, there's not enough space for everything. Uh, okay, we're going to grab this. Thank you. Do you have for the other one? That's a no you're nothing special quest. I just got a reward for. North, north, north. Level 3. Oh, I could go for the bear supplies, but it's a level 3 fetch. Or clear. No, fetching clear. There you Can go. You, do me a favor? you want to have as many of these level 3s and ups because that's, that's the way how you get your loot. Rolling. If you only go for level 2s and 1s, you're never going to get that good loot. But if you can go for the better things, oh, that's really going to come in handy later. Okay, so we need to go. Uh, wait, wait, wait. Was that just aloe leaf? Nice, thank you. You can actually make some, uh, some aloe cream with that and then make red bandages. So then I don't have to worry about wasting bandages. I can just make and make and make and make. You guys, this is my very first uh, town that I lived in, for those of you just joining the series. Um, I did that standalone base. It failed spectacularly. And then I wanted to start building here. I cleared this whole trader out. And then I found this awesome town over here. And I said, nope, that's where I'm going to live. Something you like? Something you like? Friend. I don't know. You tell me. Friend. Okay, 99, 104. You know, I'm just going to go for the schematic. I can scrap it. We need it for the advanced class. So there you go. Okay, now see. I've done so many quests for him. He has stuff for me over here. So, like for example, let's just go for another job first. Uh, northeast, clear zombies, clear zombies. Let's just go north, Friend, straight north. I'm in trouble. No matter. What, I need to make sure it's not I'm the same house, but it shouldn't be. I know it's up there. Okay. Anyways, uh, let's see inventory. I'm just gonna sell a few things first. Technically, the claw hammer I could have kept. With the claw hammer, you can actually make yourself. Uh, ooh, what's this structural brace? Uh, the claw hammer you can actually use in the, the forge, not the forges, the workstations. So it's definitely worth keeping, but I accidentally sold that just now, to be honest. It was definitely an accident. Okay, sell this, just sort the inventory. Yeah, I'm going to grab stuff out of the bike quickly, because I'm going to sell most of this stuff too. Let me just make sure there's nothing in here I want to keep. Okay, so the lathe I definitely want to keep. The lathe's going back in there. Just so I don't accidentally end up selling it, because we need to start making coil guns. And that's the way to do it. We just need to see if he doesn't perhaps have rockets. Oh, that's another thing. I shouldn't just sell stuff. So we're going to go... Claw, hammer... Let's just make our own. I mean, it's taking up unnecessary space right now. Scrap, scrap. I'm going to keep the military stuff. Because we are going to combine all of that to make ourselves some better... Or just to repair our stuff. But also just make better stuff. The shotguns I'm going to keep for shotgun turrets. This I need to keep to repair my own. And then this one I can sell. Boom, boom, boom. Okay, so that's all we have. 32k on us. Nice. Okay, so frag rockets 5. That's definitely going to come in handy. Uh, let's just start with a secret stash over here quickly. Bicycle we don't need. Uh, ooh, battery bank schematic I don't have for some reason. Oh, it might just still be locked. Like it says, the first, eight, the first 8 bandage over here, its schematic also says it's still locked. Although I've read it so many times. Okay, there's nothing over here. Let's go on. You know what, nitrate I'm going to buy. I need to start making my own gunpowder, and I don't always have time to mine, so that's a nice way to do it as well. I wonder if you place this air conditioner. Can you wrench it for brass? That's something actually to check. Okay, I'm going to buy that. I don't need that much uh, animal fat, but it's there, so why not? Kind of chili. Okay, so shotgun shells we're getting a little bit low on. Um, so I'm actually considering just buying a ton of shotgun shells. Buckshot we're going to need for the rockets if when we make our own frag rockets. And then, yeah, it's just one stack. Let's buy it. This for the horde, this for the horde. So we have 7,000 left. Man, cash sure flies. Gunpowder, there you go. 
And that's it. I'm not going to buy the 9 mil because we barely use our AR. And when I use it, I always forget that it's burst fire, not automatic fire. So I, I keep holding it down, but I'm not supposed to hold it down. Chemical parts. Yeah, I'm definitely getting that. And then the last one that I'm spending my cash on is coal. Boom. Okay. So I just, I know I wasted a ton of cash just now, guys, but it's easier for me to do that during a series than going mining. Sometimes I have the time to mine and then I mine a ton when I have the chance. And other times I just don't. It all depends on whether I have the time or not. Remember, um, I'm actually sometimes really, really busy in real life. And I barely have time to even just, I come home and I'm so tired I just want to sleep. But then sometimes I still have to record and then you don't have time to grind it out. And even on weekends, uh, for example, I'm recording this on a weekend now. After this, I need to go either record a new mod or record the co-op with King Hedgehog Gamer. And then tonight I need to stream. So my weekends are even in full. Um, also, I want to go buy myself a USB mic. So hopefully I'll, I'm able to do that today. Because I, like I said, guys, I'm using Pushy Talk in my co-op series just because my mic keeps picking up my headphone sounds. Okay, that's a wolf. I should have actually killed it for the meat. And it's not just the meat, guys. We need the bones from those animals as well. Especially with the bones, you can make glue. With the glue, you can make duct tape. And duct tape, you need two duct tape just to make one repair kit. And you also need duct tape for like uh, rockets and stuff like that as well. So you need it for everything in this game. That's like the number one commodity you need it for at the moment. Ooh, there's a ton of places over here I still need to check out. I do want to clear out this whole town as fast as possible. So the better gear I have, guns, tools, everything, the, the better for me. I want to go into a place, just totally annihilate, strip it bare in like a few minutes. Instead of taking a whole episode for one POI, I want to do at least 10 POIs in an episode. Although that might be a little bit too speedy for some. There's a lot, I know a lot of people don't like it when I loot too fast. Wait, why is this bugged out? It says here, glue is essential ingredient to making duct tape the most useful item in the apocalypse. And that's true. Use it for almost everything. So you need to make sure you have a ton of it. You know, when I'm talking to the trader, I just quickly need to set that first row again. Because since I relogged just now, my locked row on top is unlocked. And especially when you want to sell stuff and you do sort inventory, you don't want to accidentally sell stuff that you are meant to have locked in the first place. Okay, so that should have fixed the issue just now. Let me just check over here quickly. Um, that is 7, right? No, that's 12 minus yeah, that's 9. I need to block 9 slots. Okay, let's see, let's see, let's see. I could actually technically eat while I'm talking to you, so let's just do this. Well, that didn't take long. Nice work. Oh, I almost forgot. I still need to go talk to the guard captain up top. That's going to sell for 400. Any more jobs in this town, please? Uh, okay, now the problem is going to be, I need to make sure it's not the same for your eyes when it's already taken. It's this one again. I wish the the quest could actually just move around a bit. For those of you that don't know what I'm talking about right now, um, unfortunately, all your quests are mostly just specific buildings. I want to have a mod. I don't know how tough it's going to be, though. If I do one quest here, I never, ever do a quest again there. Or at least if I do a level 3 quest there, I never do a level 3 quest there again. It uh, can only be a level 4 or 5. And once you've done a five, you can't do that house again for a quest. Well okay, so let's see. Ooh, monotops. Well um, I don't know if I should use it. <laughs> let's just grab it. Why not? Any jobs close by? Northwest. That should be in this town, I hope. Northwest. No, that's going to be out of town. Uh, northeast is too far away. Southeast is down. S I wonder if it's in the, in the other town. Let's just fetch this. Yeah, it's in that town. Okay. Southeast. From there, I was uh, thinking southwest to this side. Okay, as, fine as, as long as our quests just stay in these two towns, except for that one over there now, obviously, um, it's going to be good for us. So, let's see. Inventory. Do you have any more leaves? Thank you. Bandages. Thank you. And, yeah. I need as many of these bandages as possible because they heal you 15 HP every time you use one. Is this now a wandering horde, or what's going on over here now? I just hear a ton of noise, so that's why I know I have to be careful. Okay, so once again, over here, lady, let's see what you have for me. Or the no, let's just first see what I have for you. Wait, is this a wandering horde? If they break into the door behind me, I'm going to be so mad at myself for not doing anything first. Okay, so uh, I think we already checked everything she has to offer. Unfortunately, that's nothing. Now, these guards can be sometimes so irritating, guys. Um, the, the, their aim has been reduced, like their really crappy aims. 
So when they try and kill a zombie, they shoot and shoot and shoot and miss and miss and miss. Rinse and repeat. I hope you get feeling better. Um. Wait, is this a wandering horde? I'm a little bit encumbered at the moment, so I can't afford to just... Yeah, this is definitely a wandering horde. I want to actually just get out of here. I want to use a rocket launcher. Not a rocket launcher, a grenade. So this has to be a wandering horde, right? This one more? Boom, that hits all of them, which is awesome. Yeah, that was just now a wandering horde, I think. You be careful, there might be a few more zombies over here. I was wondering why it was so noisy over here. And then I checked and there was all these zombies over here. Damn. Okay, so we need to go back to the base, drop everything off, and just keep looting the hell out of this town. The more guys, you've, you've seen, some of these even small insignificant places sometimes have automatic shotguns and M, uh, M60s and M4A1s and stuff. So we need to loot all of them. Okay, so, oh, I just realized we dropped a ton of stuff in the dustbin at the trader. And I forgot to grab it. So hopefully next time I get to this trader down there, well, that's going to be day 31 as soon as it resets. I'm going to have to go back there. I just, I can't even remember what I dropped in the... What did I drop? I dropped something in that dustbin to the left um, to make space so I can have stuff when I'm accepting press from a trader. And I just completely forgot to grab it again. Okay, now, the first things first. We need to see if we can't make ourselves... Whoa, why do I keep hitting my own stuff? Uh, we need to see if we can't make ourselves those coil guns. Even just a normal coil shotgun is going to be awesome right now. Now, my level at the moment is what? Guys, I'm five levels away from being able to get the coil gun. I cannot wait. Okay, boom. Ooh, that was close. Okay, so, I shouldn't do any more quests until I have my... Charismatic Nature maxed. And I don't have any points at the moment anyway. So I want to, instead of going for that, instead of going for quests at the moment, uh, whether I shouldn't start going for like farming and stuff like that as well. But unfortunately, the farmer quest isn't progressing right now. It's still stuck level 1. I need yucca fruit and yucca seeds, and I haven't been to a desert yet. The golden rod and seeds are easy. But the yucca fruit, I don't know. If I can buy it from a trader, perhaps, that's going to be the fastest way to get it. Unless I go... And just like I said, uh, check in the XMLs, check if I can't see a map or preview of this map's map. And let's try and see if I can't do it that way. I need to be able to just see what the map looks like, where the wasteland is, where the uh, desert is, all this stuff. I need to be able to see that and then I know, okay, I need to go north to a certain distance to be able to get myself the stuff I need for farming. Because we do need it for farming desperately. Let me just do this, ammo parts over here. I mean, I love this double clicking. It's just so much faster dropping stuff. Okay, mods over here for now. Wait, 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 wait. This one does. Uh, melee and tools, lowest degradation. This one has it on already, right? This one? What does that do again? Decreases melee stamina usage and handling blows. You know, I don't need that. I just want to make sure it doesn't break too fast. I'm going to put that on there. And then this one only has space for four mods. I should technically start putting stuff on this. Just to make... Oh, which reminds me, I can't actually put the... I could put that on there, nice. And this. I need to be able to do more damage to stuff when I'm wrenching it, and this is going to be the best way. Iron Breaker for cars, and wet it hits so it does do more damage. I didn't even think about that before, that's so dumb of me. Okay, so clothing, as you guys can see we have a ton of steel, um, military, and a little bit of iron as well. I want to have all the sets over here, and I want to have it as high quality as possible. Uh, no, no, no. I want to keep the black dye because I want to see if I can't dye my clothing black. Although, at the moment, remember guys, the game gave me a black character, a black female, and if I do everything black, it's just going to be way too much black. Clothing black, skin black, and it's not even, look at this, it's pitch black. I couldn't, but look at my hand over here. I don't get how that happens. I couldn't ch uh, actually choose my own character, it just gave me this character. Okay, so we need to drop our stuff, coins over here, at least this stuff we'll be able to take to the trader now and sell as well while we're there. Okay, ammo, we are going to drop a little bit of shotgun ammo over there, and building supplies over here. Okay, ooh, and I just realized I still have stuff. I hate it when it goes into my belt like this. Because I, I don't see it goes into my belt, and then it wastes space. Let's do this. Now, I wonder if I shouldn't keep these grenades on me. You guys seen? Uh, I've seen how much uh, wonder it can work when there's zombies just appearing out of nowhere, like wandering hordes and stuff. Just chuck one or two, and it kills a wandering horde instantly. Okay, we need to fill up with food and water over here quickly. This just gives food. 
Let's just quickly eat this. We are now full. Okay, I wanted to do what here at the base? Oh, quills. I almost forgot about that. Where did I put the lathe? Just now? I think it's on the bike still. Wait, did I just grab everything off the bike? But yeah, if I can just make my own quill rounds, guys. The only pro oh, quill guns. The only problem is going to be at the moment, I think coil parts cost steel, right? Coil, let's just check. Yeah, it takes 10 steel per part. Which really, in, a, in the scheme of things, isn't that much. Um, I just hope we have steel to use, because I really desperately need to start doing this. So we need to go to our trader. Um, man, I wonder if I shouldn't do the quest, because we're going to go to the traders anyways. Now nah, I'm just going to leave it. I'm going to go to the traders just to check if they have the rockets. Because we need a ton of frag rockets. And go from there. Only problem is the stuff we get from the traders right now might help us when we need stuff when we need cash. Just please tell me the lathe wasn't one of the stuff that I dropped at the trader. I mean I am gonna have to go back to the trader, but still. Where the hell did I put the lathe? Is it just oh there you go. <sighs> this color, they need to change the color. <laughs> it's so light that it actually almost blends in with the block over there. It literally looked like part of the block just now. Okay, we're going to put this here. Now we can make ourselves quill rifle parts. Now, what if I should go for the quill shotgun? Okay, we need a battery as well. So, car parts. Boom. Okay, so now we can actually make ourselves a quill. Oh, that only requires short iron pipes. Wait, okay, let's just check shotgun. So, it's this one and this one. Okay, this one needs steel. 20. Is that all we need for the shotgun? What do we need to make the quill shotgun again? Uh, let's see. Shotgun. It should look sh like a shotgun. It's a quill pistol. Quill shotgun. Uh, we need the quill gun grip and parts. Do I have that? Quill gun grip. Quill gun parts. Okay, so I just need to make... Ooh, quill barrel rifle. Wait, what? Okay, so I should be able to make myself the shotgun. I just need the parts, which takes 20 steel. I could wait to, uh, five levels just to make the, myself the rifle, but for now I'm gonna see if the shotgun's more powerful than this shotgun. Um, okay, so we need steel, which is over here. We need 20 of each of these. Let me just grab both of them. Okay, shotgun receiver. That's what I need right now, because these over here don't have the receiver yet. They have the uh, grip, the parts, and then we just need the barrel. Uh, no, that's a rifle. Okay, so I just need short iron pipes to make the shotgun barrel then. It's a good thing I just noticed that, damn. Okay, so shotgun barrel, there you go. So as soon as these are done, I'll be able to make myself a shotgun rifle, or rather a quill shotgun, and I just need to make quill rounds as well. I wonder... Quill slug shotgun, quill shell. Quill battery, what does that require again? Lead, electrical parts, and scrap polymers, but I, give, I think they give you a ton. So even though you just use 10, 5, and uh, 5, it actually gives you like 50 rounds. Oh, and then again, that's with the, uh, the quill rifle. I don't know about the quill shotgun. We can only hope for the best. Okay, so let's put this stuff away while I can. I need to also start making myself blade traps, guys. By day 35, I want to have blade traps on my walls, but at this stage, it doesn't seem like that's going to be a thing. Which really doesn't matter at the moment, because our base is really OP as it is. But just now we start getting demon plague, the behemoths and stuff, and we really need those blade traps. I just want to do this as well, so it's easier to see where everything is. I'm a little bit of a mess. Uh, all of my inventory is a little bit of a mess at the moment. Usually I have this way better sorted, so it bothers me when it's not sorted. Okay, I just messed that up. I need to grab the parts, and I need to grab the grip. We're making the rest of the parts for the AK, right, or rather for the shotgun right now. This we're going to need for... I want to say we're going to need it for the shotgun rounds. We are going to need it, but we're also going to need it for the, what do you call it, uh, for the rockets, for the frag rockets. I need to start making frag rockets as well. That's why I'm going to these traders now, seeing if they don't perhaps have what I need. One more minute. I'm just going to wait for this minute to get over, guys, because I really want to see if I can't make this gun quickly. And also, what level is it going to be? So at the moment, my gun crafting is 4 out of 5, so it should be blue. It should definitely be a blue color. Um, and I want to test, which, which is going to be more powerful, the auto shotgun or that one? I think, if I'm not mistaken, it's going to be the coil rifle. And I should actually start making rounds of that as well. One coil battery. Yeah, it's going to make a ton. Let's just quickly get, do I have lead? Lead, I'm just going to take a thousand for now. I'm going to take half of that for now, and then scrap polymers as well. 
The strap polymers, I can take all of it. That really doesn't matter too much. And then you make it in this bench over here. <gasps> Ooh, I forgot about that. I was busy making crucibles. Okay, let's make 12 over here. That's going to craft how much? 600. See, that's going to be 1,200 um, batteries right there. Do this one. I just made two crucibles. I didn't have the resources for another one. I can't believe I completely forgot about this. So now all, uh, all two of these, both of these, have all four of the tools over there. This one still needs the crucible. This one needs the crucible and the tool and die set. Okay, so now we're just going to need ourselves some buckshot. And what else? What else? What else? Scrap polymers again. Okay, and then obviously we need these that, that, that's crafting over here now. I really want to test which of these is going to be more powerful. I, I have no idea, to tell the truth. Okay, so where do I make this? Is it going to be in this one as well? Yes. Okay, so I'm going to make 100 in here. It's just fair to split it up since it's already split up with the other ones. And 100 in here. And then a shotgun should be ready for crafting. Boom, boom. Okay, if I'm not mistaken, please tell me I don't need the other bench. Oh, no, I can make it here. Nice. Oh, wow. It's purple. Wait, why can I craft certain things purple? Is it because I mastered certain classes? Well, I haven't mastered it, but I, I've almost completed certain classes. Or what's the point? I'm not going to complain. I mean, it's a quill shotgun. That's a combat, actually. Oh, now I get why there's no combat shotgun in the game anymore. It's now a quail shotgun. These things are super powerful, so I can't wait to test it. Okay, guys, now we need electrical parts. But I don't want to use these because we're going to need it for the blade traps. That's why I can't make any more quill rounds. We're just going to have to make do with these. It's 250 right there. 250, come on. Right there. And once again, we need to make it at the back. Wait, what are I... Ooh, scrap polymers. Did I just run out of scrap polymers? Okay, I need to start also buying the stuff. Look, I could always just wrench buildings, I know. Uh, it's sometimes actually easier just to wrench. Um, because you can just wrench for the scrap polymers and break down scrap polymer, or rather plastic curtains, whatever it's called. Uh, you can you can just do that, but sometimes it's just a little bit faster. Yeah, guys, I'm confusing myself right now. I should just shut up. <laughs> I'm talking too much and I'm confusing myself because I'm thinking of what I should do next. Okay, so 20 more seconds on this and the ammo is gone. Unfortunately, just we don't have more scrap polymers. If I can find a building with a ton, I might be able to swap uh, it out with... Uh, I'm going to swap the steel fire axe out with a chainsaw. Make sure I have the best quality chainsaw. I think I have level... Yeah, there was a purple quality I dropped at the trade, I think. That's why I can't see it right now. But yeah, I want to just make sure that we have a, a, an auger and a chainsaw. And then it has to be like, for example, I know there's a dirt track with a ton of wheels. If I can find that PRI, we're going to be set. Because I can just take all those wheels apart for the scrap polymers, and then voila. That's a crafting over there. I'm going to go test this gun. That's why I'm waiting for it to craft. Okay, uh, I'm going to drop these over here. Now, I just want to go. We need to load in a few of these. Now, I'm going to take the damage. This one's modded, and it has normal rounds on, right? It says 18 and 8. This one, 18 and 8. And it doesn't have any mods on at all. So if I take these off quickly, the other one was 18 and 8, right? If I put them on this one, check the damage now, 21 and 8. So it's already more powerful. It's just the max quality on this one seems to be higher, 781, 724. But other than that, it's basically, it's still, it's still an auto shotgun. So I can still keep the auto shotgun. I can use the coil shotgun, I think, during hordes. And then the auto shotgun, but then again, clearing places out, we're going to need this. I don't know which one I should use. Um, look, I can always just save these normal shells for later and use the coil gun for now. As soon as I'm out of coil shells, I just swap to the auto one. Because I'm going to run out of ammo really fast at the moment. I only have, un no, yeah, that's another point not to do it right now. I think, let's just wait until we have more ammo, and then we'll use this gun. There's no point in using this gun if you're just going to run out of ammo immediately. So for now, we're just going to drop this in there, and ammo over here. And obviously the steel we have to drop as well, because we're not going to use that right now. Okay, so now we can go. I want to go to the trader, like I said, uh, just to see if he has reset, has some stuff for us, which means we need some cash over here. I just hope we have enough cash for the frags that are there. I wonder if I shouldn't go to the bottom one first. Is it necessary to go now, uh, however? Because, I mean, we have our lathe right here. We have, yeah, as long as I go there before day 33, 
it, it should be good. I know there's a few engines and stuff in the in the uh, dustbin there, but we don't really need to go back there. It's just going to waste time going back there right now. So I wonder. Yeah, I'm even going to drop the trader loot. There's no point going to the trader right now. Let's just focus on clearing this town out. Because I just realized there's a very good reason to go back to the traders. One of the stuff that we looted was a purple auger. And that's not here, so it has to be at the trader. It has to be one of the items that I dropped inside the dustbin. Okay, now there's a ton of cars over here. I wonder if I should wrench. I do need electrical parts, mechanical parts, all that stuff. So we might just need to wrench all this stuff. So watch out for dogs. Dogs love being in between these things over here. Not always, but sometimes. So just be careful. I actually want to wake up all the zombies in here and let them come to me. I might, they might just fall in my head over here because I think there's a few sleeping over here somewhere. Hello, hello. Ooh, you're feral. Yeah, let's just let your friends come to me. I don't have to do too much work. Your friends are going to come to me. Uh, also, guys, remember, just first loot the bottom over here. Come on, left click, left click. There you go. I don't want to use power attacks. It's not necessary. But yeah, loot the floor first, and then you focus on looting up top. So you know you don't miss any of the trash bags. Because sometimes trash bags do have duct tape and other important things in there, so it's really worth looting everything. Also, your scavenging goes up in Darkest Falls, so you need to rent, or rather, a loot as much as possible. Hello, so many wandering zombies in the area over here. That's free XP out ever for me, so I'm not going to complain. I love the fact that there's zombies everywhere. And as soon as I'm powerful enough, I'm going to set the difficulty up from warrior to insanity. Only problem is, as soon as we get a behemoths and demons and stuff, that might just be my downfall. At the moment, we're OP against normal zombies, but as soon as we start getting demons and stuff like that, it's going to, get, it's going to be a whole different game. <laughs> it's definitely going to be way, way, way harder. Okay, so let's quickly arrange all these cars, and then also I need to arrange that for steel. The more steel we have right now, the better, especially we're almost level 75, so that means we're going to be able to make ourselves that coil rifle soon. So we're going to need to make sure we have steel on us or at hand to be able to do that. I should also check these vending machines all over. Some of them don't work, and if they don't work, that means you can arrange them as well for more steel. Hello, hello, zombie. Oops. Also guys, um, I have no idea which series I should be streaming. Uh, as you guys know, I started a stream, I think I've done two streams right now, uh, for the Nitrogen map. Um, Killer Bunny has a mod as well, it's called the Apocalypse mod that I'm going to be trying. Um, and then, yeah, there's just so much to play and do and stuff. But I said I want to stick to one series, that's why I'm just doing Darkest Falls. Now I'm already doing that thing again where I'm just taking on too many mods at the same time, so I'm going to start getting confused in this mod. And that's going to suck for me. I mean, it's, it's going to be fun for you because my scatterbrainedness might be annoying sometimes, but it also leads me to get into some really bad situations. Like, for example, we, uh, we get caught off guard by wards and just massive amounts of zombies and die. And a lot of you actually love seeing me die for some reason. Hello, big boy. If I'm not mistaken, people call this one Edgar. I just don't know the names. I know there's quite a few names for the different zombies. So you easily say, okay, I encounter this and this and this zombie, but I just don't know their names. I don't know if it's like a universal name people have for these zombies, or if it's just my imagination. But it feels like most of the YouTubers out there call the zombies the same name. Come on, give me some awesome stuff. Hopefully the safe in there makes up for the fact that there's nothing out here. Okay, so we have to break through here. Hello, hello. Ooh, you're feral. <laughs> that just knocked him back. Hello, boys. Oh, I love this knife. You can just spam power attack and then let it go from there. As I sometimes miss the old designs so much. There used to be a fill-up station, a gas station, that had wooden stairs up here in these holes. And behind the... Oh, this is a wandering horde. Hello, hello, hello. Uh, let's do this. Jump up. Yeah, most of you guys are going to come up here. But yeah, they had um, wooden stairs and there's a ton of stuff down there with them. I just kill all of them. I thought I heard running, but I just didn't put two and two together. I need to be careful because some of these wandering hordes have bears. And I don't think I'm going to be strong enough to take on a bear right now. Okay, so hello. That door is open, which is really bad for me. Because even now, easily there could be a bear behind me coming for me. I should probably just look around me. <laughs> just every now and then pay a little bit more attention. 
But yeah, it was nice just having those secret stashes and stuff in between the stairs and everywhere. You just, it just, you had to explore the places more. Look, uh, quite a few of your eyes actually have quite a bit of secret rooms that no one knows about, or very few people know about. But it's not the same. It's not like, like that you just go exploring and you go. To... For those of you that haven't yet, go check out my other series, my Alpha 14 and previous series, and see how much different it is from. The current alphas. I mean, the visuals are way better. Don't get me wrong. I love these visuals. But if if we could have like Alpha 9 with Alpha 19 visuals, that would have been epic. Up to Alpha 15 with Alpha 20 visuals, that would have been awesome. Okay, let's go, let's go, let's go. I really do want to try doing a few more multiplayers though. So, yeah, like I said, I want to... Ah, oh, I thought I might be able to get up off guard. Um, at the moment, like I said, I'm playing Darkest Falls, uh, two episodes a day, and then I do Wolf the Walkers Co-op with King Hedgehog Gamer. I stream Nitrogen, and I want to uh, try streaming the Apocalypse mod as well. But, um, I might just drop one of those to do a multiplayer server, where I just literally go on a multiplayer server with just random people and play over there. But it has to be a really big map, and the only problem for me at the moment is lag. I hate playing with lag. Um, even frame rate, guys. There's some games my brother plays. He says, "Oh, why don't you just come try it?" But it's 30 frames per second. He also has a PC, so he notices lag. But I, I just can't play on something that's that buggy. So that's I don't know, not, not fluid. <laughs> it has to be nice and smooth when you play the game. So if I can find a server where there's no lag, no drop like that, or at all, or whatever, that's gonna be so awesome. Then I'm gonna I'm gonna tell you guys listen come uh, join me here and yeah we'll see. Also guys uh, for those of you considering it uh, considering becoming a member, I do want to start a members only server soon. Um, but obviously I just need a few more members. At the moment members are coming, members are going. My members need to be stable, at least ten members, so I can actually afford to rent out a server. And then as soon as I've rented the server, we can play together. And unfortunately for those of you that aren't members, that's gonna suck. But it's just a treat for my mem for my members. Just one, one more thing they get for being a member. Okay, and uh, interact. Ooh, hello. F oh, I don't have any coins on me. I wanted to buy food just now. Okay, we need to make sure that no zombies actually just stumble in. See, these over here, guys. If I had a chainsaw, I could pick these up fast. And I have to swing this slow ass thing. That's why I'm considering actually just uh, bringing my chainsaw with me. But that means we're gonna have to go to the other trader for the auger and the chainsaw. I think, yeah, let's, just, let's go do that after this pure eye. So we make sure we have the best loot on us. Also, we can check what that trader has now to offer. It just makes sense. Why wait when you need that stuff right now? Okay, so put the right glasses on. Grab the weapon just in case. Switch back to this one inside. And, ooh, frag rockets. See, the more we loot, the more we might come across this. We need as many frag rockets as possible. You guys saw during the horde when stuff got boring and we went down to face the zombies or went up onto the roof. We needed the frag rockets. We couldn't use the grenades. I mean, the grenades work, don't get me wrong. Only problem is the grenades were slow. You chuck them, you wait for them to explode, and that time you can still get a hit and stuff. But, if you uh, just use a rocket launcher, it's instantly in the zombie's face, and then voila. So if we can mass craft just a ton of rockets, t just a ton of explosives, that's going to be epic. I just realized, guys, we can technically just jump up here. Remember, it's going to slide us off if you don't double jump. But at least that's in the fast way of been going all the way around over there. <laughs> I just realized that. Okay, jump down. Grab. Oh, I just stopped by the floor. See, you need to be careful that you don't break your legs over here. Okay, so once again, quickly gonna drop some resources. Grab our coin and then I'm gonna go to the trader. But you need to make sure you don't actually have stuff on you that you wanna keep because that might just increase the chance of you accidentally selling it. Now, I wonder if I shouldn't start selling pistols over here as well. We have so many M60s and stuff that I want to keep. Uh, sniper rifles we might be able to sell. If I could repair these, they shouldn't take... I want to make sure my gun skill is high enough, so if I repair stuff, it definitely doesn't break. Because, for example, if you look at this now. Let's just scrap that one. Uh, this one's green, right? 339. And it's level 31. 339, level 31. Let's see now. Level 31 still? 720, so the price doubled. Man, I really love this turbo engine. Getting to, uh, to and from this trader is now so much easier. And what I'm going to do also is I want to remove all these land claims over here. So there aren't too many markers on the map. 
Uh, okay, there's food and stuff. I want to quickly also see Orga. Oh, I sold the blue chainsaws. I thought I might have dropped some of you as well. I want to see while we're here quickly. Do you have any more? Wait, what is this? Sledgehammer crafting level one. 3,000. No, we don't need that. Thank you. Uh, any more recipes you can teach me? Do it yourself. See, if I buy these, you don't have to spend points into them. Any more recipes? Any more recipes? Any more recipes? Boom. That doesn't, that doesn't give you the schematic. It just allows you to do other stuff faster. Hello, where are you guys? Boom. Boom. Hello. And last one of you. But yeah, um, the other trader guys that we're at at the moment, we haven't done enough jobs for her. It is a her, yeah. We haven't done enough jobs for her up there. So we can actually get these, uh, these options. If we can just get more coins. So we need to loot a ton. Like as much as possible. The more we loot... The more coins we'll have, the more we'll be able to do these things over here. Just buy the recipes. That just allows you not to use any skill points when you're doing anything over here. Anyways, I'm just not caught episode here. What I'm going to do is, like I said, to remove these land claims quickly. And then next episode, I actually want to start over here. This one is that trader's quest. So when we go back, there, we can just all take it with and then we're done with this town. I really also want to stop doing quests for this town. The only problem is, sometimes I could do four quests in the same town. That's awesome. That's what you want. You want all the quests to be lined up together. So you can just stay in that one area and just do that. That's why in Nitrogen, I love just making one town so the quests are in that town. If there's three, four towns, the quests are all going to be spread out. But yeah, if you guys like this episode, please like and share with your friends. Any comments or tips or feedback that I miss anything, I think about this episode, anything at all, leave your comments down below. And if you guys are new to this channel, please do hit that subscribe button for more of this content. See you guys next time.